beautiful day, an exciting edition of Healthy Living. Thank God that we are alive to see this wonderful day. And glory be to God for granting us great health. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. My name is Oluwa Femi Oduto. Before I proceed on today's Healthy Living, I have a quote and I want to read it out to everyone. And it says, well, your health is a state of complete harmony of the body, mind and spirit. So choose life. Choose your health. If you're just watching this program for the first time or you just tuned to Dove Television, it's all about your health. The exercises you do every day, drink lots and lots of water, eat vegetables, fruits, you know, just to keep fit. All this and many more we do here on Healthy Living. And if you've missed any of our episodes, just kindly log on to our YouTube channel on Dove Television. You can get to watch great and exciting, fantastic program coming on our YouTube page and if god has laid it in your heart to sponsor this program or you've seen any of our programs so far feel free to call us we'll be right at your doorstep we have a special two special guests here with us in the house on healthy living because we'll be celebrating um yes who set aside a day for us to celebrate mental health and we have two people here two special guests so dear to us on Dove Television, we have Dr. Kaya Day in our studio. <laughs> I want to make it more fun for you, Happy sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for coming on this program. God thank bless you. you. You've thank been you. part of uh, Dove Television family for mm -hmm. over years, yeah. and we're glad to have you. Thank you. After the program, I'm taking the top from you. That's why I say it's a special day. <laughs> All right, we have Dr. Oluwa Fumilayo Akiola. She is the chief consultant psychiatric in charge of OSHO, the annex of the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba. Thank you so much, Ma, for joining us. It's Thank good you to have you. Me. Yes, lovely face. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you. making this program more exciting. Yeah. Okay. Sir. I know okay. the way you're just trying to, you know, stuff <laughs> me. After the program, I'll see you, but not to worry. <laughs> We're here together. Yes, indeed, I said it's a special day, but yeah. before we start, um, you know, our pro before we proceed on today's program, well, like you, sir, you're also a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Mm. So please lead us in a short prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we pray? Authority over all other authority, we bow down our head unto you. We say thank you for these good days. Mm, thank we thank you. you for this institution. Blessed be your name forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask, O oh Lord, that you teach us what to say to the public that they will not be put under bondage. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name forever. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Maybe I should just introduce Dr. Karabe, the HOD of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Public Health. Remember the Centers for Disease Control. We had an interview with you many, uh, I think, a few years back about it. How's the place now, sir? Great. 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 We thank God. Great. And God has been using you marvelously for us. <laughs> Glory to God. All right. Our topic is mental health. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there's a day set aside for mental health. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a lot of people might not know. Some, it's just few that might get to know, okay, this is a particular day set aside. And that day is what, Ma? October 10th of October every 10th. year. Mm -hmm. Okay, of every year. And this, mm -hmm. this October 10th, I think it's on a Sunday, falls yeah. on a Sunday. But yeah. it will definitely be celebrated all over the world. Actually, oh, yeah. the whole month. The, the whole, whole month. month. The whole month. October yeah. of every year is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm. But 10th is the particular day that um, it is, you know, celebrated actually. So everybody's actually, you're supposed to do something the whole of October okay. uh, uh, to carry out awareness about mental health. Wow, fantastic. And yes. that's why we're here on Dove Television yes. to create this awareness. I know you have some lineups of programs, uh, you know, before we go deep into the topic. Sir, can you just tell us some of these programs you've been having? Today, you had a walk? Yeah. Uh, our, just like she said, mm. the whole month. Okay. But we decided to take five days okay. from 7th to 11th okay. of October. Okay. So that spans even across the 10th the day. day. Now, for 7th today, for instance, we are doing, we did, I'm just coming from the uh, mental health walk. Okay. We walk around the camp, or everybody, mm. all of us, uh, medical, non-medical, uh, all of us who are okay. there. Uh, so we move around and you know the camp is so sizable. Yeah. So we move around. Then tomorrow okay. we have um, school health talk okay. at uh, Redeemer's High Center okay. uh, School. That will include 
all the institutions in the camp. Mm. Uh, anywhere around Ogun State. Mm. But at least specifically, we have invited the primary school okay. uh, students and teachers, mm. the secondary school students and teachers, the tertiary okay. students, that is the rectum, mm. and uh, the Bible College. Okay, so parents can also be part of it. Parents are, 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 will be a part of it. Mm. Then on Saturday, mm. will be market presentation. Okay. We are going to the market in the camp. Mm. We're going to be speaking to their language to them mm. that we, they, will, they understand. Uh, that will also include uh, playlets okay. that will drive home what the message. The message. Mm -hmm. then, on, then on Sundays, we'll go around the churches and the camp. Mm. Uh, we have made a, a jungle around so that they will be able to understand what this mental health day is all, all about, about and the warning signs mm. of the mental uh, yeah. health. Mm. Then on Monday, which is the grand finale, we're having a symposium um, in the um, coordinating office. Okay. That also will involve everybody. Uh, our guest speaker is yeah. one of them. Wow, fantastic. Uh, and uh, one Dr. Owe Yeulubuinga, okay. who is the current medical director of Neuropsychiatry Hospital. Fantastic. It's one of our sons here. Yeah? Mm. And so that's, that, uh, that will cap the land. The, mm. Okay. I, I, I decided to do this so that viewers can understand that we have a whole lineup of activities here on the Redemption Campground. So if you're living within Ogu State, that's just what Dr. Kayo Diabayomi said, within Ogu State, outside Ogu State, um, Lagos is not far from here. You can find your way down here as parents, as caregiver. Be part of this mental health awareness. You can help. You never can tell. Always be your brother's keeper. You can get to help all the people around you. Now, I want to ask Ma. Uh, this doctor is for uh, this pro, uh, question is for Doctor Olua Fumilayo, right? Akiola. Yes. And the question is, what is mental health? Because we, we just have to let people understand okay. what mental health is all about. Okay. So when we when we say mental health, it means a state of well-being mm. in which one is um, yeah, you know your abilities, the things that you can do. You can cope with stressors in your life, and your life is productive, wow. you know, in your place of work, in the community. And finally, you must believe in a higher being. Hmm. You know, you must have a relationship with your higher being. So when all these areas of an individual's life is working well, we talk about having a good mental health. Wow. So your ability, you know what you can do, what you can do. So you don't stress yourself, hmm. okay? So your life is productive. You have good relationship with others. Okay, and you're productive. Hmm, so one. that is what mental health is. So if there's a problem in any areas that I've listed, mm. so we begin to think, is there something wrong? Mm. Then we'll be able to, you know, come in and assess the individual before it becomes, you know, something very severe. Okay, now, so my next question is, what are those signs that we need to watch out for? What are those things that we need to see? And, you know, as a parent, as a caregiver, as someone working in an organization yes. where you see someone that's very productive with, uh, productive with what he or, or she is doing, and all of a sudden you just find out. Exactly. So you said the major symptom to look out for, wow. a change. Okay. Yeah. A change in behavior. Change in Even in a child. Okay. A change. I mean, everybody knows, we all know whether you've had a child before or not, because you've taken care of your cousins, children, your auntie, your so niece, your nephew. every, you know, so we all have an idea of what a child is supposed to do at a particular age. Then you are a parent, so you know that this child has been doing this before. Suddenly there's a change. This child that used to come round, come to your room, use your perfume, do this and that. Suddenly the child is withdrawn to self. Mm. He's always he's in, in our room, doesn't want to play with the siblings. It's not going out, it's not doing anything. You know, an alarm should go off in your head. Mm. We are not saying the child is ill, but there's something going on. Mm. We must remember that mental health doesn't, doesn't start suddenly. Okay, really. So it is always insidious. Yeah. Mm. So that's why we say a change in behavior. Mm. The only time it starts suddenly is when there's a trauma, an acute trauma to the brain. Maybe mm. a road traffic accident, the person was unconscious, so woke up, then there's a change in personality anything that can cause a high fever. They, there was a fight in the compound, they hit something on the person's head, really? or a fall. These are things that can cause acute presentation. Mm. Or sometimes when people use substances, 
you know, they say intoxication, they take a pour for two and they go, you know, gaga. So those are the things, but usually mental illness is always insidious. Okay. So a change in behavior, okay. then a change in mood. One second the person is happy, the next person is crying okay. or very irritable or somebody that is always paranoid. Everybody is, how can everybody in your place of work be after you? What is going on? Okay. Where are you paranoid? Or everywhere you live in a face me, I face you, but everybody doesn't like you. You always have one thing or the other to complain yeah. about. Or you wake up one day and you see a lizard or a bird in front of your house. Hey, I know, they've come. The <laughs> grandmother of the oh, cousin of my mother yeah. <laughs> is around. around. You. <laughs> and you have so paranoia. It's very, very important. So change in behavior, paranoia, extreme change in moods. Yeah. And... Um, People, you know, changing, not eating well, you know. I still had a client recently lost a lot of weight, you know, wow. drastic weight loss. So they're not eating, they're not sleeping well. Why are you not sleeping? Instead of the person to be sleeping, the person you are hearing, the person praying all night long. What is going on with you? Ah, I can hear some people. Things are going. When, sometimes when mental illness is starting, mm. people become more religious. Okay. Yes. Really? Because now they're hearing voices of people they cannot see. Their thoughts. They know that there's something wrong. Mm. But they do not know who to talk to, what to say. So what do you begin to do? You begin to pray. You begin mm. to fast a lot. So everybody will notice. You cannot pray all night, every day, for a month. I have seen a client that she went long, like 40 days, no food, no water, no nothing, Jesus. absolutely nothing. And it was secondary to mental illness. So these are, but these are like extremes. But like I said, usually it's a change that behavior. There's somebody that is not productive. Hmm. You see, so many, you know, they say they, they were deported. They were in developed maybe England, America, they come back home. And eight years, 10 years, they have not done anything. Hmm. So you have people in, in small towns, villages, they don't do anything. You know, they just walk around doing nothing. There's a, that is a pointer that there's something wrong somewhere. Hmm. So we need to assess, we need to find out. Okay. Ma, there's a question that came to my mind while you were talking yeah. about the, uh, changes at times. You know, many at times we hear people say, I have this swing, mood swing. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes once in a while. Do we take that as someone's time to, <laughs> so I to ask? It's a, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's a very good question. <laughs> I just have to ask. As I said, we shouldn't just go around change. making diagnoses. Okay. You know? <laughs> but, but you can always encourage that individual mm. to see a counselor. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Mm. Just to talk about it. What's going on? Okay. You never can tell. So that before it becomes something worse, hmm. it can be arrested. Because hmm. you are not supposed to have drastic mood changes. One second you are happy, you are laughing, and the next you are very irritable, you are angry, you know, and you are saying foul language, so it's not supposed to be that way. All of us should learn how to manage our emotions. Okay, yes. Okay. so in an organization, is yes. there any need for us to start you know checking people whether they are okay before you can get this person a job is there any need for that man you know because you know you, you might have seen cases where someone said oh this brother we took him some few months back all of a sudden we started noticing some strange attitude some strange behavior is is there a way we can you know uh, well if we are going to do that before they come in people will raise the fact that that's stigma and oh. that's discrimination. Okay. Because if you have a mental illness, does not mean you can't function. Okay. Okay. So the most important thing, it is the identification, early identification, mm. early referral to the appropriate place, mm. so that treatment can be started on time. Mm. So, what should be done really is that wellness program in organisation, and that is what this COVID nineteen, for the past eighteen months now, mm. has brought to the fore. That you know you can't just mental health it involves all of us mm. and you cannot say it is them mm. we are different mm. because now people have not been able to because of covid a lot of physical distancing the isolation everybody's working from home mm. i had given a talk somewhere and the mother was like she has grown up children that they are saying they are telling her that they are having issues how can you be having issues you're in the house you're working in the house that is issues 
That can be issues for some people because you wow. sit in your com in front of your computer all day, day long. long. Remember that when we were all going to offices, you yes. will interact. Yes, right. you have people to chat with. You, you have, have people, people to, to chat with. You know, yes. If you don't understand what you are doing, you go to your colleague. You ask questions. You ask questions. You are put through. All that. We are social beings. Mm. So being told to stay in one place, then you stay. And you know, once you work from home, there is no closing time. Mm. There is no, uh -huh. so it's like you are there. Work and they are monitoring you if you are on your computer or not, mm. you know. So these are issues. And um, so we all need, so what we should do is have a wellness program. So when people come in, mm. you let them know that these facilities are available. Mm. There are people that you can talk to, mm. encourage them like you are doing, go for your exercises, are you sleeping well? People shouldn't use substances in the workplace, mm. coffee, excessive coffee use, and all that. So, and you know, you ask after them, how is home? Mm. you know your family and all that so you know that at least there's a department where your needs can be attended to mm. so if there are changes the people there should have noticed you call what is okay. going on okay was it because of the stigma they had the theme for this year uh, mental health in an unequal world yes that's one of the reasons okay. but oh, the other reason is also the disparity about okay. the money economic you know that the rich are getting richer the poor are getting poorer Mm. And we know that many people that, well, some people that do have mental health issues do not have access to um, services. Mm. For example, during the COVID, people that already had mental illness, it was difficult to come. Yeah. Some lost their jobs. There was no money for transportation and all that during COVID. Yeah, so it became true. worse. Mm. Those that were on the verge, now, particularly those that were living alone or those that live alone, so it was just like it made them to break down yeah. because they were in isolation. Mm. So all this, and you know that, okay, we say, if you can't come, let's do a virtual assessment. Mm. How many people, yes, most people in Nigeria, mm. so many people have phones. Mm. But are the phones compatible? Can you go on Zoom? Mm. Can you do a, a video on WhatsApp? Mm. Can you do a Skype? So, these are issues. So these yeah. are the inequalities. Yeah. So access to services. Then when you do get there, are you given the appropriate treatment? Okay, we are a standalone hospital. Okay. So if we have medical surgical things, we'll refer out. Yeah. Are they attended to on time? Okay. Because they're mental, you know, yeah. patient that has mental illness. Yeah. They, do they accord them the same priority as somebody that comes in with a heart failure? Yeah or a severe or a stroke. Okay. So the stigma, even we that we practice mental health, mm. yes, our stigma. colleagues, we also <laughs> suffer stigma from our colleagues. Really? Yeah. So you say, of all the things in medicine, how come you went to study psychiatry? Okay, I'm, I'm still coming back to you because I, I, I still need to ask you some cases, okay. some, uh, I won't call them difficult cases, okay? okay? But there are some cases that you might just want to share uh, with us as an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, now, sir, why this you know, joint collaboration, you know, with other doctors creating awareness. Because I know Dr. Abayomi, whenever we want to talk about pregnancy, women, and that's where we are on our program. So now, now you coming forth to say, Sister Femme, we just have to do, do this. Mental you know, we just have to create this awareness. I was like, okay, okay. Dr. Kaida, I hope you are not about it. <laughs> now, we, yeah. actually, we are in the preventive uh, yeah. uh, health. Mm. And the prevention is, they say, is better than, than cure. Than you know, if you can prevent, mm. of course, it's not obvious what you, are, what you are preventing, but it's a lot of things to do. When you prevent, or when you, when you break down, you have ill health, your home, your finance, mm -hmm. your work, mm. your, your, yourself, mm -hmm. and even the timing, mm -hmm. you know? Inconveniences, those yeah. are things that go into it. Mm. But if you can prevent, you know, you all you just the, the little amount or the little money you will spend at that time, which is very infinite smart mm. compared to what you are going to uh, spend when you when you break down. Mm. So we are trying to prevent anybody going having mental disorder. We want mm -hmm. to join our 
colleagues all over the world mm -hmm. to, to, do, to, to sensitize people in, the, in, the, in this community. You know, our community is uh, purely a community of Christians, mm. you know. So we, we need to, sometimes you may not, you may be thinking that, for instance, she said we, we are hearing voices. You may think that it is the voice, voice of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we need to sensitize them, the, mm. the population. So that we know that no, no, this one is not the voice of God. Mm. So please, when you are hearing voices, when you are getting depressed, when you are excessively praying, just like like he said, mm. when you are excessively going religious, mm. then you know that no, 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 this one is uh, there's a deviation. Mm. Please, let's go for help, and that is why we sought her out mm. to uh, to bring her onto this program. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. So aside from camp, are we going outside camp, or there are other villages, there are other. Uh, you know, places around, you know, that we can also, are there places we would see to visit? For now, you know, it is for the camp, it is for camp, but you know what we are doing now, it's not for camp. Yeah, it's general. So it's general, it's to the whole world. Mm. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, within the, if we are going to villages here and there, here and there, we'll be spending a lot of money. Wow. For, for us to put up this program, this simple program for these five days, it costs a lot of money. Wow. It costs the church a lot of money. And so we don't have the where with her to go all places. But at least, first of all, uh, charity starts from home. From home. Mm. So we want to, want to educate our home. Mm. And if where possible, people around this place can, can enjoy the same thing. Mm. 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 All right, thank you so much. You're now, welcome. Ma, now I want to ask the question again. Um, and that question is, you know, I said, there are cases you must have seen over the years. Can you just tell us one or two that you felt you know, this is beyond? Beyond? No, not beyond <laughs> what you can handle. With the help of God, you can handle it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, well, um, I don't know. There's so many going through my mind. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, maybe, you know, nowadays, the younger one, the teenagers, adolescent, they are coming down. I've been seeing recent times this year, particularly when they come down with um, depression, suicidal mm. ideations. Mm. So they want to kill themselves. Mm. I mean, it's. I asked one of them. I said, "What a thirteen-year-old that wants to kill herself?" Mm. She said, "Life is too difficult." Mm. 13. Mm. 13. Life is wow. difficult. Mm. I can't make friends in school. And that's why life is difficult. And I said, you've not even done anything. I have another 21 year old too. What have you done? You've not done it. You've not seen anything. So how can you be tired of life that all you're thinking about is you want to kill yourself? So these are issues and it, it sounds so simple because you can't make friends. But mm. to her, that's the whole world because she can't make friends in school. Mm. So people are making fun of her. So that we are talking about bullying. bullying. I have another one, 12 year old. She said she had been bullied since she was seven in school. Mm. So she wants to kill herself too. Wow. She's afraid to even sleep. Because when she sleeps, she'll be having nightmares. Mm. So when she wakes up in the morning, am I still alive? Really? And really? Wow. So these are things that are going on right now. Most of these people are from Christian homes. Mm. Wow. Adults, wow. 21 year old, mm. 19, all of them Christians. Mm. So, I think. Um, <laughs> I think parents, we need to encourage our children. The yeah. Parents, yeah. In, is it is it encouragement Obs or more? Yeah, know them more. Mm. Yes, know them get, more. To know get them closer more. to them. Get mm. closer to them. Mm. Do things with them. Mm. Mm. Don't tell them to go and do things. Mm. Do things together yeah. then in the process yeah. you know something will come up then they will air their own view about it then you'll be yeah. able to come in and say ah no 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 that's not it should be this way i think you could have done it this yeah. way yeah. you know so it's in the process of doing things as yeah. simple as a man washing his car or you want to go and cut the grass in Grasses. your garden yeah. you take your son along with you yeah. you're cooking in the kitchen yes you've taught them how to cook but do it together then those are just losing my hair, losing it, and you're gisting. You know, mm. you watch TV together, mm. and you're talking. Mm. So something comes up, you use it as an opportunity to mm. teach. Yeah. Mm. To let them know. 
so that when they have issues, they are comfortable to come to you. Mm. The one I still saw yesterday was like, Kamala, I don't like my mom. Mm. And I'm really? Tell, yeah, and I'm not going to tell her anything. Why? Because when I tell her things, she screams. Mm. Mm. So we parents, we must learn to, you know, they will tell you some things that you actually want to scream. Mm. But you must swallow that scream yeah. and, you know, put up a blank face so that you can hear the mom. end the of the story mm. Mm. and be able to come in. You know, mm. so I know somebody that um, they put her in a lesson, and one of the teachers called her that Olodo. And you know, she didn't tell the mom or the parents that the teacher called her Olodo. You know, all these um, online whatever now since last year. And but during conversation, they were just gisting, the, the parents said they were just gisting and laughing. And you know, she was just upset all of for working, and it came out. That can you imagine the teacher actually called me Olodo? I can't do, 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 do. So the mother said she just kept crying. She did as if she didn't hear. But she went to call the teacher the next day that mm. if she knew, they wouldn't have sent her to you. Mm. So don't so that's verbal abuse. Mm. As little as it might sound. Mm. So the teacher had to call her to apologize. Mm. I have to also share a testimony. You know, my son is this type that if he wants to write. And it gets to a point, he will tell you he's tired. You know, uh -huh. their age, four, three mm -hmm. years old. So I noticed something that the, the, the class he is now, mm -hmm. that was the class our own immediate senior sister left. Yes. So she's always, that's the, the elder sister, yeah. always going back to see the teachers and hold okay. them. Oh, no, they're my no, best no. teacher. So my son came home and said, my teacher does not like me. Mm -hmm. That's my sister mother. I said, why? I said, I don't want to go to school. I said, you will go. Mm -hmm. I called the teacher the yeah. next morning. I was in the office. I just remembered. I said, okay, no, I'm going to call you. Should I call her? She said, yes, now call her now. Ask. Mm -hmm. I said, no problem. I'm going to do that. I called the channel. So, so, saying this is what no, my son said. Like so, you. you have to hug him the way yeah. you hug the elder sister. <laughs> yes. You have to encourage him. You have to speak nice mm -hmm. words to him. Even if you're going to spank him a little, just spank his hand mm -hmm. and let him know that you have to learn. Because I do that to them at home. That if you don't learn, see what mommy, you like the way mommy works and all that. If you don't learn, you won't work like you. So, I try to, yeah. you know. So, I'm telling you the next day, he said, I love school. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't want to leave my auntie. Oh. <laughs> I want to leave this show. We'll go on a quick break. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, ma. At this point, we'd like to go on a quick break. When we come back, we have some images we'd like to display for everyone watching us all over the world to get to understand. Please, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you. Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. It is only those who have been sick who will know the value of being healed, particularly when the sickness is the one they say cannot be cured. Doesn't matter what the doctor said, you will be healed. That it is better to be healthy, not to be sick at all. Better still to be the one healing the sick. In Mark 16, from verse 17 to 18, Mark 16, 17 to 18. Jesus said, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they went down to say, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And I pray for every one of you. From today onward, not only will you be healthy, when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Yeah, 
guests, welcome back. Still on Healthy Living on Dope Television. It's good to be back again. And I still have my doctor here with me in the house, Dr. Kaya De Abayomi, and also Dr. Oluwa Fumilayo Akiola. You can get to call us on this program, but uh, when you're calling, try as much as possible to reduce or mute the volume on your TV set so that we can hear you loud and clear. Your name and where you are calling from. Remember, our topic still remains mental health. So if you have any cases around you and you wish to discuss with them privately, don't worry. The, pro the phone lines to call after the program will be definitely displayed. But right now, get to call us and ask questions. It's live coming all the way from Dope Television. God bless you. Now, my next question is for Dr. Abayomi Kayode. And uh, the question is, why is the church coming out now for mental health? Why is it so important for the church to create this awareness? Well, in the olden days, the church does not have a compound like, like we have in the redemption camp. Hmm. In the olden days, the professionals do not come up. But today, they are coming up. Hmm. They are coming up. And they are, we are contributing our quota. Mm. And to, because the church is, a, is part of the society. Wow. So what happens outside the church happens also inside the church. Mm. And so I, it is better that the church comes out and even come out better than what it used to be. Because uh, it will be too suicidal when we spiritualize everything. Mm. You Spirituality. Know? Yeah. Uh, you, you are praying excessively and then meanwhile you are going outside the, the norm. And then people say, oh yeah, this is good. He is getting spiritual. He's knowing, knowing God. And well, something is gradually mm -hmm. going wrong. Mm -hmm. So I think it's better the professional mm -hmm. come up and educate. Mm -hmm. Educate our pastors. Mm -hmm. You know, in old, old good days, the pastor holds three professions. Mm -hmm. they, they are lawyer mm -hmm. or, or judge. They are uh, physicians and mm. they are priests. Mm. But uh, uh, these days, when we have categories, where, where, where we have professionalism, mm. I think if you allow professionals to sure. come up mm. Mm, mm. and educate them mm. and play their role, okay. even as they play outside the church. Mm. 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 My, my next question is it genetic? Is it passed okay. from one generation to another? Sometimes, you know, there are some symptoms. Some doctors will tell you, ah, maybe your forefathers has it or your mom suffered from it. It's likelihood that you or one of the child might definitely get mm -hmm. to have such. So, so, I, so some, yes. Uh, some yeah. types of, you know, mental illness is a lot. Mm -hmm. Different mm -hmm. kinds, different categories. So we do have some that are genetic yeah. and that are runs in families. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so can, can you talk more on those categories that we have? A lot. Okay, mm. if we talk about mental illness, we talk about major mental illnesses. We talk about the minor ones. Mm. Okay. For example, one of the major ones is schizophrenia. Mm. It's about just 1% of the population, but we do know it runs in families. Okay? Really? Yeah. Mm. So um, and that's why, you know, if a parent has it, if both parents have it, you know, the percentage, percentage of a child having it continue to increase. If both parents have it, it's about 50%, maybe 46 mm. to 50% of cha uh, chance that their children will have it. Will have it. Mm. Okay. Depression, that is so common. Mm. Depression is one of the minor mental illnesses, mm. but it is endemic mm. all over the world. Mm. And they say it's like the second or the third cause of morbidity mm. all over the world mm. with, you know, Loss or because people is that they don't go to work or they go to work and they're not productive, so there's a lot of huge resources that are lost because of depression. But it's minor and it is endemic. If you take all of us here and now, you take a room full of 10 people, they say two to four have symptoms of depression, so it is like that, like malaria that is mm. endemic in the community. Mm. But people don't know it, they don't know where to go, so they're just there and they're not functioning well. Mm. You know, so, and it can run in families. Bipolar disorder, it can run. So, so many of those things mm. do, there's a genetic basis. Some can happen, like I said, if there's trauma to the brain and all we'll, that. We'll come back to the trauma to the brain. We have a caller from Abuja. Please, let's have our caller. Hello? 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 Yes, thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. 
thank you for such a wonderful topic. Um, my question is, how do you streamline when one is um, on the stage of becoming and you want to classify mental health or maybe the person is undergoing mental health problems, maybe in, you know, how do you, how do you define mental health when you do, this person is actually maturing or this person is in, okay. I mean, uh, I am, Okay, Wuche, thank you so much for asking such questions. So how do you define that? Maturity and uh, mm. deviation. And I think if I get her question mm. well, mm. what she's saying is there are some things you expected that maybe an individual you expected to have be able to achieve this. Mm. No, I think it's saying and mental maturi no, maturity, mm -hmm. you know, you change, your mood change, your that mood, your, your that mood change, change. That gradual. Then what about uh, the normal mood changing that we're talking about as a psychiatry? I think maturity is uh, is normal mood change. Okay. The one she is descri describing is an uh, an obvious delusion. Psychi delusion. Mm. And it's going to affect. I think mm. maybe one thing I didn't say is whatever symptoms, whatever change mm. anybody's having, must affect the functioning of that individual. Mm. Yeah. So okay. the functioning at home. Yeah. In the community, either in the church, in the mosque, in the marketplace, then at work, then if it's children in school. So whatever, because you can't be in school and suddenly you laugh out loud, okay? Yeah. And one second you are happy, you are gisting, then the next you are very unhappy and you are crying profusely in the class. Mm. I mean, it's, it's way out of, so that is it, mm. you know? It must affect the functioning of the individual in the three spheres of life. Hmm. Mm. So, okay. um, uh, so the signs that one, I think maybe we should just go back to those signs again that one can, you know, some people might join us from the beginning of the program, others okay. might just be in the middle part of it that, you know, just tend to do, oh, what are they talking about? Mental health, let me just listen. Yeah. So let's just maybe probably just hint them up of what okay. those signs will look like, you know, so that you can get to say, oh, I need to speak to a doctor. I need, just need to call someone up and speak to the person. It might just be that person, in, you know, and you feel it's not normal the way I'm behaving here in my place of work, or it's not normal the way, you know, this action of mine keeps coming mm -hmm. up gradually. So, my please, let's just talk okay, about like, this. Like, like, like we'll this come way. back to this okay. time. We also have another call. Hello, um, someone calling. We have a caller from Anambra. Please, can we have the name of our caller from Anambra? Hello. Hello. Yes, thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Huh? Go ahead with your question. We can hear you. Thank you for calling. Hello. Hello. All right, please. Uh, I think this person is trying to listen to your television. Please don't do that. Can we mute the volume on your TV set because you're, uh, you know, in the us hearing what yes, what you are saying. Uh, please reduce it or mute the volume or walk away and just speak to us since you know the topic is mental health. Now, my go going back to what I said, the signs again, can we visit some of the signs so that we can get to know that? You know, I talked about mood swing and we laughed about it. <laughs> we, somebody might be going through that process yeah, too. Yeah, yes, mood and swing. And you're just thinking it's mood swing, but you don't know that it's gradual process. Yeah, yes, yes mood swing, but we're saying that, I mean... If you, I'm laughing with you right now like we are doing, then I remember that, oh my goodness, they've not paid salary. <laughs> I have to send uh, money to my child in the university. Face, I mean, won't my face change? Yeah. It will. <laughs> so you, it's like we talk about depression, you talk about sadness, you talk about depression. They're not the same thing. Things happen that we're unhappy. But we're saying it shouldn't extend, you know, more than two function. weeks. It shouldn't uh, affect we, we, your we have something anxiety disorder yes. okay and all that so mm. i can my mood can you know my mood just changed mm. i was laughing but i remember that ah i have to spend money where am i going to get money from mm. but it's a temporary thing yeah. mm. then as we continue Not to talk i will start smiling again but we are saying you know like the example i gave very elated and i'm all touching moving around then the next time <laughs> You're five frowning. minutes later I'm crying. Yeah. Hmm. Is that normal? Hmm. So that is what we are talking about. Hmm. And it's going to start to affect my function at work and the house. You stop talking to your husband because half of the time you're just there. 
crying. Mm. And you're not ready, you don't clean the house anymore. You're not taking care of the children adequately. Mm. It's their food. You say you don't know, you don't even come out. Mm. Somebody that had girls, the fourth one or the fifth one, another girl, she didn't touch that baby. And she was inside her room, she just locked herself in a room mm. and left the baby. Is mm. that normal? It's not normal. We have another caller. It's never normal for that. Ah. We have a caller. Please go ahead and ask us your question. Our caller from Enugu. Hello? Hello? Yes, thank you so much for calling. Please go ahead and ask us your question. Hello? Yes. Hello. Yes, I can hear you, ma. Go ahead with your question. Uh, good morning. Thank you for calling. Hello, good morning. My question is this. There is somebody that I know. There is somebody that I know. He cannot sleep without taking drugs. Mm. Yeah, I'm coming from any room. There is somebody that I know. This particular man cannot sleep a night without drop. When I mean drop, he can take nature time, 10 or 15 tablets every night. What do I tell you? I need your advice. All right, thank you so much. God bless you. Ma. Hmm. She just takes the person to go and see the doctor. Yeah. Mm. You can't do abuse. anything for him. Yeah. Mm. So he needs to go and see yeah. the doctor mm. urgently. We mm. should take him to the psychiatric. There's one in, he calls from Enugu. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do have, I think we have in Enugu. Yeah, I think, I think there is. Yes, there is one. a psychiatric facility mm. in Enugu. Mm. That's the mm. help he can render to him. Mm. That is the help. Just encourage him. Mm. Not go, you know, frontal attack mm. and all that. Just encouraging. I think you need to see, you know, somebody so that we'll find out what is the cause. How did this start? Yeah. If he's taking 15 tablets, I mean, that's more like an abuse. Mm. abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 what we grow, when we're growing up, mm. what we got to know about, you know, people taking hard drugs and all that is, is about having such problems. But now these days, you talk about loneliness, you know, with this COVID and all that stuff coming up. Sometimes the person will be happy today. Tomorrow, the person will have the swing of not being happy at all, fighting and everything. Mm -hmm. My question is, what is the danger? Or should I, should I put it all the disadvantage of not knowing that my brother has this or my sister has the symptoms in, in her or in him? The, the danger ah. is that it's going to go on and on and, and on. And become worse. And become worse. And when they present in the hospital, yeah. it's going to take a long time to get better. Hmm. Mm. So, like we said, a change. I think, I think our problem in Nigeria is that we, hide. we scarcely, number one, psychiatric problem the stigma. is stigmatizing. stigmatizing. Mm. Nobody wants to own up. Mm -hmm. Number two, you don't go out. I mean, you don't present early. Yeah. For instance, yes. uh, you have a uh, mental illness. Ah, I reject it in Jesus' name. <laughs> you know. Instead of how do you come, you should, you should know to know why, how do you come to that diagnosis? Mm. You know. Mm. That's, you should be curious. Instead of being curious, wanting to, okay, can I get help? Mm. You say you reject yeah. it and mm. he abandons you. Mm. Yeah. So when you see things like that, you know, the problem gets aggravated. And then to solve the problem becomes a problem. Mm. Takes okay. Uh, someone just sent a message saying, uh, okay, nice topic, Ma. I think unnecessary things too much. Having negative image, thoughts, urges, and this uh, thoughts stick to my head for some days. The more I try to remove it from my head, the more it causes me headache. Some negative thoughts will just jump into my head. Is it part of it? Ah, it's part of it. Yes. We, we, we answer this person's question. We have another caller from <laughs> yeah. Lagos. Marvelous. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, please speak to us. Um, ask your question. Hello, Marvelous. Do we still have our caller there? Marvelous. Hello. 
All right. Uh, please, marvelous, do call us back. We we'll appreciate to hear from you soon. Thank you and God bless you. Now, to the question, having negative thoughts and all that, this person's asking, is it part of what is running through right now? It could, it could be, you know. So that's, just go and get somebody to talk to, hmm. you know. Hmm. Because I've had a case that... Um, you know, they were having issues and everybody was concentrating on the wife that she's the one that has issues. But apparently, the guy, you know, was the one that he just saw an article one day and he read it and it was like, it was anxiety disorder. That this article mm. is talking about me. Mm. And he said, from young, he used to have negative thoughts. Mm. He will believe the worst thing will happen to him. Mm. So, you know, there are some, we talk about personality, there are some people like that, they can never think of good, they can never have good thoughts. Mm. Everything is always negative, 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 negative. negative. So, please get somebody to talk to. Okay. A counselor, a psychologist. I think uh, if the fellow does not want to go to a neuropsychiatric hospital mm. because of stigma, mm. get a primary doctor to talk to. Mm. The primary doctor will refer you appropriately. And that yes. will be an in-house issue. Issue. Yes. Mm. So instead of saying, okay, I'm going to neurosurgery because nobody will go there. Yeah, once Except, they see you enter uh, and your neighbor just <laughs> cites you from, Ma, sir, this is it. Oh, what is Papa Chinedu doing there? Yes. Oh, help me so yes. <laughs> But really, really, that's why we are having this yeah, talk. That's, yeah. that's why we are having this conversation. This awareness. Yes. And that is what um, WHO, World Federation of Mental yes. uh, Illness, is talking about, mm. that. We need to do collaboration. Yeah. Mm. We need to begin to talk, talk, mm. talk about talk, it. Yeah. It's mm. no big deal. You're going to die in silence mm. and you won't function. Mm. Wow. And it's like life will pass the person by. Mm. Mm. So why don't you just, you know, you know, I can't sleep. I find Speak it difficult yeah. to sleep. Yeah. Mm. You know, sometimes I'm at work and I just want to scream and I want to slap somebody. What's going on? Yeah. Okay, well, I have a question about that. Someone <laughs> said, Elizabeth from Lagos saying, please, if someone is angered and he gets talking aggressively mm -hmm. for hours over issue, is it part of mental health? It could be. It could be. Because remember I said, you're going to have stressors in life. Mm. So one of the ability of having a good mental health is to be able to cope. Mm. So in coping, in having resilience, we talk about managing your emotions. Yeah. So Maybe. when you can't manage your emotions, mm. then, you know, there's something. I don't want to be making diagnoses everywhere, but there's something going on. Mm. So before it becomes worse, why don't you just talk? Mm. Say a counselor, mm. say a psychologist, mm. you know? Mm. And I'm sure in the church that we have a lot of counselors too. Mm. In the church. Mm. Maybe can we take it home this way? Yes. Okay. If you are having a reaction yes. against a minute thing, yeah. That is inappropriate to, to that, that thing. my new thing. That's my new thing. You know, you slap me, it's a different issue mm. than, uh, why are you doing like this? Mm. You know, that's a minute, and I get aggressive with, yeah. why are you doing like this? You know, mm. excessive aggression. Mm. You should know that something is going on. Yes. Mm. Yeah. The person could just be unhappy. Yeah. Mm. And someone just sent a text saying, I'm not happy at all. Yes, I keep mm. having these voices on my head. I ah, have ah, debt to is, clear. Wow. Uh, Ines, so that you need to Ines see help. the doctor. Yes. Mm. Mm. Help. Mm. All no. right, we, we have another caller. Okay. Please, uh, Regina. Can we have Regina? Hello, Regina. Thank you for calling. Hello. 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 Good, good morning. Thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Okay, please. I have a question for Dr. Lufu Milayo. Okay. I have a, a friend who has this uh, brain seizure. Mm. At times, at times when he is doing something, mm. the brain, I don't know, he will lose the coordination or whatever. But, uh, from this thing you are speaking about mental health now, I think uh, uh, Mommy Olufu Milaya should uh, either her email or whatsoever so that I can talk to her personally about this issue because the guy doesn't want to go to this uh, psychiatrist uh, ah. office ah. and <laughs> we all know because of okay. how Stigmatization. people will think yeah. or what people will say and all that. So, I really need to get uh, a link to money 
so that we can thank God for that God bless you now. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Please, can we have the numbers display for further canceling? You know, we just spoke about yes. it. I just saw so one. Can, can I yes. say something yes. about that? Yes. You see, don't people, we should let people know mm. that there are different facilities, services being rendered if you have mental health issues. So it's not only stand alone hospital, psychiatric hospital. I know there's a lot of stigma attached to Yaba Left. <laughs> but um, the government is what the government is trying to do is to establish psychiatric services in all general hospitals, yeah. hospitals. all teaching hospitals, yeah. all federal medical centers. Mm. So if you're going into a bit of meta, nobody knows. It could be, you know, surgical case and all that. Mm. It's only if you're going into Yaba, uh, they will <laughs> raise there. So please, you mm. really do not necessarily have to come into Yaba. There are mm. other places you can go into loot, mm. you can go into last suit, mm. medical centers mm. outside Abekuta, everywhere, all mm. the medical centers all over Nigeria. Mm. Mm. So please. All right, thank you so much, sir yes. and ma. Our time it's is fast spent. Uh, yes. But I know I'm getting one of these t shirts. Yes, World <laughs> Mental Health Day. I'm yes. going to put on my horn and do the job, yes. the dance, the prayer walk, whatever yes. it will take. You yes. just need to. Pass this message out yes. to everyone. Collaboration. Yes, collaboration. Beautiful. That's what. So, sir, yes. please, we want you to run all over again what we'll be having throughout this week till Monday. Okay, today's own is gone. Mm. So, tomorrow, that's uh, RHS. Friday. That is on the, on the 8th. RHS, school health. We are going to talk in the school. Mm. And that includes the teachers, the students, and even the parents. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, we talk to the market women. In their own, in their own language, in their the own way language. that they're able to understand what we are seeing, and then on Sunday in the churches, mm. uh, then on Monday, which is the grand finale, we are inviting uh, medical giants. Mm. We are also inviting uh, pastors. Okay. So which of the churches are we using? Which of the church? Okay, around all, this? all the churches all within the, churches the within the within camp. The camp. Mm. Okay. All the churches within the camp. Then on Monday, which is the grand finale, on the 11th, by 9 o'clock, we are in the coordinating office mm. where pastor will speak on, on the issue. Okay. Uh, psychiatrist will also speak, speak on, on the, the issue. issue. Uh, Mrs. Um, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Ulu Afum Lai will be speaking too. Mm. So I will be there. Mm. Uh, so come and join us there. Yes. Uh, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because I'm, I'm expecting that also from him. He's also a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has stayed tuned to Dove Television to watch this exciting edition of Healthy Living. Just in case you miss out of it, uh, you just want to watch all over and over again, go to our YouTube channel, click the button right there, and uh, you get to watch this episode. And if you want to refer it to someone, please kindly do that. And if God has laid in your heart to sponsor this program, you want to be part of Dope Television family, please kindly do that and call in us or sending us an SMS. We'll be glad to have you. We have the numbers display right there for you to call Dr. Lua Fumilayo Akionla and Dr. Kayo De Abayomi. Get to call them, get to reach out, speak out. Yes, yeah, speak out. You never can tell you're helping someone, you're helping yourself. We'll wrap it up with a short prayer coming from Pastor, who is also a doctor mm -hmm. in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. <laughs> so please wrap it up with us. God bless you, sir. Shall we pray? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for how far thank you have helped you, us. Thank you. Thank Blessed you. be your name forever in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for this channel through we are speaking to people. Yes, we Lord. ask, O oh Lord, that you will uphold this channel in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. All right, bye-bye to the bye. camera crew, to my director, to the VCR, to the MCR, everyone, the engineers, the IT. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Have you. a wonderful time. Bye-bye. Thank you.